hello guys welcome once again in this video i will show you how to connect your qt gui application with sqlite database if you don't know about uh, sqlite database i have a tutorial on sqlite database also just go to uh, my channel and search for this beginners sqlite tutorial and first few videos you will be able to understand what SQLite database is and how you can make your own database and how you can uh, manage your database so they are not uh, many videos you just have to watch three videos and you will be able to deal with SQLite database now I will create a new project in Qt. So I will open new project application Qt GUI application choose and I will name my project as SQLite DB project and I click next just change the location if you want click next and if you want you can change this main window name so I will name it as login window because I'm going to make in next few videos a login application which so you can uh, log in and open the next page if the username and password is correct but in this video we will see how to connect with SQLite so click next and click finish and the new database is formed which is called SQLite DB okay now what I will do is First of all, I will go to my forms and go to login UI. And here I will just search for a label. For this application, I just need a label to show the message whether I'm connected to the database or not. So label and I will go to the properties. So I select label and go to the properties here and I will change its text to for example status so it will tell the status of the database okay now I will go to add it once again click here and in here I will go to the headers of my project so I have login.h so I will go here and here I will define some includes but before that just go to SQLite your project name dot pro file okay so just go to your project dot pro file and in here you will see QT and plus is equal to core and GUI and we will add one more application here called SQL so just make a space after GUI and write SQL and after writing this we will save our file which is SQLite dot p r o file and what we will do is we will right click our project and we will say run q make so when you run q make this file will be compiled which is your sqlite dot p r o file and now your project knows that you are working with your SQLite or SQL 
databases now just go to the header file login.h and here we are going to include some file so make some space and I will include include Qt SQL first of all and second is include Qt debug and third maybe we can include Qt file Q file info okay so we have added these three files this should be Q debug file okay so just include these three files and now we will go to the CPP file here and in here we will add some code so go here in the constructor where your UI set up UI and this code is there and here we will write Qt SQLite sorry Q SQL database and give your database a name so I will name my database as my DB for example is equal to and then I will write once again I will copy this QT and then double colon set database name and what is the name of our database it's qsqlite okay so i think this should be dot add database so write this and in the next line just copy your database name which is mydb and just paste it and write dot set database name and in here you will be having uh, the database you have created the Excalite database so just wherever you have created your database which is a uh, SQLite database so just go there and just copy the path to that database and just paste it here and you can replace these slash with these forward slashes like this and my database name is database dot db so just copy the database name also database dot db okay so this is the path to my database file which I have already created and which is my SQLite file okay so write this and then write if your my SQL or my DB for which is my SQL SQL database variable dot open so if 
this database is open we will say or we will set our label as UI and then your label name this is my label name which is default and then set text and I will say database is connected so instead of this MySQL open we will check for if it's not open then we will pass the fail message so write this so remember to pass this not equal to sign and then write fail to open the database or else if our database is open we will show UI label set text is equal to connected so what we have done is we have created a database object which is QSQL database object and we say that this is a SQLite database and then we have given the database name and we have provided the path to the database here so mysql.set database name and the path to the database and if my database is not open then I will say fail to open the database or else I have connected to my database okay so this all is in this constructor now let's try to run the program and by the way if you don't know what this label is this is just go to your login.ui and this is this label right so this label name is label here if you can see so that is that label and now I will run my program so I will click this button and I will say save all and you see here I'm connected to my database that means my connection to my SQLite database is successful let's check if my database is not connected so if I'm not connected to my database so I will just go to my login.cpp file and I provide the wrong path to my database so I delete some of the path information for example I delete this slash sign and let's see if it still connects to the database or not ideally it should not connect to the database because it's not getting the right path to the database and it should not get the name of the database so let's check if it works or not I will run my program and now it says failed to open the database okay so in this way I know that if I don't provide the right path to the database it will give me the fail message or otherwise it will give me the message that I am connected to, to the database so in this way you can connect your Qt GUI application with SQLite database in the next few videos I will show you how to create a login page or login application with your SQLite database and your Qt GUI application so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now